Hi there and welcome to CNT Modeler. Today we're looking at the Plane Plane Eagle. Um, so if you do like my stuff please do subscribe, hit that thumbs up and hit the notification bell. It really helps the channel. So as you can see my Eagle's a decent size. It's actually 150% scale of the real plane print which comes in several bits and yeah, the manual's really good. So I did that that way to start with but then I decided I wanted to have um, a single piece wing so I went in and I took the cab from plain print and I basically went through and added all those parts together in Fusion 360, took away a load of the joint geometry and basically then put that together and printed. So this is the uh, large power printer, biggest print I've ever done. Um, this is a 150% scale wing for a uh, plain print eagle and um, we're nearly finished so uh, fingers crossed so i did have some issues where i left additional cad geometry in which screwed up the print a little bit but it wasn't too bad and i finally got my second wing um, in a single piece bar the tips obviously but i wanted to make sure this was all a bit stronger so i got myself some fiberglass and some resin and res and um, carbon toes and basically coated the wings and put carbon onto the wings I also put a metal brace in and a metal motor mount. To do the, the fuselage, I created a mount and put that on there and then fuse, fiberglass that as well. I started with a bit of a dodgy dolly to help me um, take it off and land it because it's quite a large model as you can see here. Uh, so this was the first taxiing that I did on the new dolly. As you can see, it's, um, it's a fairly heavy piece of kit that goes underneath the aircraft. Uh, uh, but that's connected on uh, by a couple of electromagnets and I can turn that on and off from the, from the remote so I can actually disconnect the uh, eagle from the dolly or the undercarriage dolly um, when I want to the idea is so that I can basically self um, take off with this model it's, um, it's quite large uh, but it seems to handle quite well on the undercarriage now I'm really pleased with how the prints come out. I'm just waiting for my um, first flight test, really. Uh, so, yeah, I've been really busy with work lately. So I'm hoping that um, in the next couple of weeks, and it's now sort of um, mid to late March uh, 2022. So I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks to get out and um, things will calm down at work and actually get on and do some my first flight and then as long as she flies okay and I don't trash her on the first flight I'll um, I did do a test that you can see on the battery cover there's um, some colour in there but I did do a test on that and I, I'm hoping that that's going to um, come out in terms of I'll spray her brown and then um, put on some uh, sort of feather type patterns and we'll see how that goes so I'll leave you just to listen to her taxiing around for a moment <laughs> 